some girls do have the power to corrupt and destroy you they'll take you and they'll break you or they'll make you a king they'll bring you the summer when winter is due it is truly quite amazing the things that some girls do senior aerodynamics engineer yes mr peterson Expecting turbulence, are we? No, sir. Some girls do satisfy you, but they'll all mystify you. They'll thrill you, and some will do anything you desire. There's no doubt about it, it's proved to be true. There is nothing in the world that can do what some girls do. Fuselage. Yes, Mr. Peterson. Mr. Peterson. The countdown continues from 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79, 78. There's someone at the door. 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71. 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60, 59, 
Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There she blows! And what a beaut! Your drink, sir. Me having a drink with you. Gosh. What is it? Well, pretty strong. It's a bull shot. Gosh. Tastes like beef soup. <laughs> it is beef soup. <laughs> is it? Well, little of it is. The rest's vodka. Follow, darling. Wasn't it lovely? <laughs> wow! Did you do that, Mr. Drummond? Do what? The eye. Good heavens, no. Don't do things like that to girls. They're both spies. Well, as a matter of fact, you're completely right. You see the one, um, the one with the glasses? She's Hungarian. The eyes are disguised, of course. Ah, uh, yes. Damn clever, these Hungarians. Wow. Actually, she's working for us now. Because she's madly in love with you. Well, what do you think? What does it feel like to be a hero, Mr. Drummond? Careful. A what? That's my bad knee. Oh. No, really, Mr. Drummond, you are a hero. Why, well, you caught that man that killed the Secretary of State, and then you went and kidnapped all those tanks, and then you caught that other man who... Oh, Hungarians. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Drummond. But, gee, if, if ever you need a girl Friday, I'll do it. Well, now's your chance. Me? <clears throat> Mr. Drummond's holiday office speaking. Mr. Drummond's secretary. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. It's your secretary. Hello, Miss Crumb. Miss Crumb. What? The SST-1. Wait. Right. I'll be there as soon as possible. You have to go home. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Daily, who are you? 
Miss Mary? You? I'm a cookery school. Oh. Have you got a light? I don't approve of smoking. It ruins the taste buds. Where is Mr. Drummond? Is it important? Yes, it is. You have to stand still for it to go away. You can tell me if you like. I'm his confidential daily. When are you expecting him back? I'm not. He's gone on holiday. Why didn't you say so? When did he leave? Two days ago. He went for a fortnight. Changed his mind, though. He's coming back today. Oh. In that case, I'll just leave him a note. Will you be sure to see that he gets this as soon as he gets back? Thank you. It's your greatest aeroplane ever, Mr. Mortimer. In fact, I think it's the greatest ever built. We know the Prime Minister wants you to have a knighthood. Oh, congratulations. Yes, but unfortunately, I'm afraid it isn't possible. Not yet. The Home Office. Well, what are they to do with aircraft design? Uh, it isn't that. It's, uh, they say you're breaking the law. Oh, indeed, do they? Well, I can assure you, sir, that I have never broken the law, to my knowledge. <laughs> well, you're classified, old chap, and so is your briefcase, Official Secrets Act. Well, I've always been of the opinion that my secrets are safer in the custody of someone who knows and understands them. <laughs> Me. Ah, oh, but if somebody kidnaps you and your notes are with you... Now, look here, Sir Dudley. I mean, uh, Mr. Mortimer. With that briefcase under your arm, you're in danger with every step you take. Now, look, old chap, we haven't told you, but there's been a couple of accidents. We were getting worried about anything happening to you. So we've been trying to insure you for five million pounds. Only we can't get anyone willing to accept the risk, not while you walk around with that briefcase. Five million? Well, you're worth it. We couldn't replace you. Mm. I was thinking it's not very much. Mm. Well, all right. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, all right. Now, this must be locked away, sir. That's very important. What about that? It's a welded, sir, for safety. Good day, gentlemen. He's right, you know. He is worth more than that. Dudley Mortimer. Lord Mortimer. Something wrong? Mm -hmm. uh, did you have a breakdown? Oh, did you have a puncture? Maybe he ran out of water. Oh, yes. My dear young lady, even I know that water does not drive a car. Oh, look. Here. Look. Oh, petroleum. Oh, poor little man, what will you do? Oh, don't worry, we'll tow you. Won't I we? don't want to Get tow. the rope, Pandora. I, I will not it's be towed. Right. No, I, I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push. Take the handbrake off, will you? Put that rope away. Put it away, I say. Now, stop, stop. I'm perfectly capable of managing this myself. In you go, little man. We take care of you. Stop, stop, stop. How dare you? Stop it, stop. I'll have a law on you two young ladies. Drive carefully, Mr. 
Well, Hugh, what do you make of it? Well, it ought to be too late for sabotage. The prototype's been built, it flies, and the contract's been signed. Pull! Good shot. But they can still cancel the contract until the end of next month. Pull! That's funny. Somebody's shooting my clays. Yes, old chap, you are. You know, if this news gets about... Hey! You shooting at my birds? No, aren't you? Pull! Great Scott, I think that's the most amazing bit of trick shooting I've ever seen. Hello there, please. It is Baroness Helga, is it not? Look, Hugh, if this contract's cancelled, the country stands to lose a thousand million pounds in exports. You've got to do something about it. I'll do my best. Ah, oh, my dear Torrance. Lord Dunbury. May I present Major Newman, Major Newman, Lord Dunbury, and, uh... Oh, Hugh Drummond, I thought you'd met. The Hugh Drummond. Wow. We should have met sooner. On business, but this is much nicer. Uh, business? You insure some of my aeroplanes. One of them has just crashed. Minor Schoener. I think you owe me an apology, madam. But your friend had missed. I hoped to save you the shame. Oh, my dear girl. Mr. Drummond's a better shot even than you. I'm the duffer. Better shot than me, I doubt. But we could see. You will come and visit me soon, Mr. Drummond. Torrenson Experimental Aerodynamics. Dumbre will tell you. Right. I'll be down tomorrow. Torrenson? Oh, they're gliders, sailplanes. They've done some research for us. They're a good firm, not very big. Something crashed? Oh, just one of his gliders. Not very important, not one of his... Well, I'll see you there, perhaps. Bye. You are a good shot. I'm also a good cook. That is our dinner. Fresh? Pheasants are supposed to be hung for a week, you know. I'm a very good cook. You'll never know they were fresh. Well, why? Why what? Why sit halfway up a tree? Middle of Surrey, shooting at my clay pigeons. I wanted to come back here, go to bed with me. I wanted to see how good a shot you were. And? Better than most men. <laughs> and what's the end product supposed to be? Must there be one? Well, shooting often ends up in somebody getting killed, you know. Packing? All right? Uh, thank you. Hello. Uh, Flicky? You forgot your ski. Uh, Flicky. Flicky. Wow. I bet they're on push over once you get them up here. Now, Flicky, listen to me. I uh, don't want to seem inhospitable, but... Well, don't I even get a drink? Champagne or beef soup? A bull shot. Over there. I'll make one. Uh, Flicky, how long were you thinking of staying? Uh, in London, that is. Oh, until my aunt's better. Your aunt? Yes. She broke her leg. Isn't that marvelous? Well, you see, there's no one to take care of her except for me. That's why I'm here. But, um, she won't need me all the time, so I can be free to help you, too. Yes. Who's Angela? My daily. Oh. Well, she left a note for you. It says, Mr. Drummond. Shh. Telephone. Oh. 
you have company. Why didn't you say something? F Flicky. Uh, the bedroom. My bed. Oh. She's off the phone now. in a hurry. What do we do now? Flicky. That's sort of a silly question, isn't it? Well, the first thing we do is take a coat off. And we draw a bath. Uh, um, Mr. Mr. Drummond, What do you I, like for I, breakfast I, in the morning? Uh, my, my aunt. Mm. She, she, may, she may be waiting up for me. I, I, mm. I think Flicky. I better call her. Flicky. For a farm for town, you make a damn good ski instructor. Your aunt doesn't exist, does she? Hmm? Mayfair double eight six zero. Then. What's that? Claridge's. and I tell you. What is it? Plastic explosive. Enough to blow the whole place to smithereens. And you and me with it. So I was quite safe from that kind of... You see, she replaced the telephone mic with that. One word in here, and poof. After you. Hello? Hello, Mr. Drummond? Bang. <laughs> One, two, three, crack! Well done, Major Newman, right in the bowl. Yeah, so sorry, Major. Yeah, yeah. Relax the egg wing, Commander. Relax the egg. Now then, come along. All together then. One, two, three, relax, crack. One, two, three, relax, crack. That's it. Oh, dear. We'd have to do better than that, Mr. Torrenson. I will try, Miss Mary. Little egg behind the... Uh... Oh, thank you, dear lady. Uh, but, but, uh, oh, sir. Why don't you watch Major Newman? He does it so well. Show him, Major Newman. There. Now, you try. <laughs> oh, dear. Time to stop. Never mind. Tomorrow we'll start whipping. Whipping our gold and sweet nature nurtured eggs into a lovely creamy froth. I can't wait. But for the moment, back to our responsibilities and don't forget my aprons. You will do your homework, won't you, Mr. Torrance? Well done, Major. A special diploma for you, my boy. Thank you. Eleven o'clock tomorrow, then. Good night. Bless you, Bishop. the taste buds. A merciful death. Hello, dear little 
little man. You can come out now. What the hell are you doing here? Well, the note your cleaning lady left you. So you decided to play private eye, did you? But but I just got here as you drove up. Well, let's see if she's upstairs, shall we? Hey, why a cookery school? Well, firstly, 500 guineas a course. Secondly, it's a good front. And it provides the sort of clients that it pays to inform on. Who? Who's been after what? Yes, I don't know. The only thing likely to interest a thief around here would be nasty gossip. Maybe. Maybe they're after his diary, then. Maybe you're right, but uh, I don't think Miss Mary is that obvious. All the same, you could be on the right track. Now, what do you make of this, hmm? Hey, look here. Wing Commander Aston's Christmas party. Strip poker be before dinner. Yeah, I don't think that's very suitable for you. Uh, and, uh, and the boat. Hmm. Doesn't mean anything to me. Don't say anything about my baroness, either. Or the SST-1, that's what you mean. Yeah, clever little thing, aren't you? And have a look down there. Friends must have been here very recently. What do you make of that? H D Torgli Dang. What? I think it's a warning of some kind, Flicky. That gliding is dangerous. Thank you. You have looked through the parachute yourself, my dear. Mr. Drummond is far too valuable to lose. Oh, yes, sir. I uh, packed it myself. You say it uh, broke up in the air, Mr. Torrance. My experts tell me so, though somebody had beaten it with a club as it was flying. One would need a very big club to smash that, eh? Well, we shall have to see what happens. Good luck, Mr. Drummond. Release at 4,000 feet, sir. All right.
out of sight now, darling. Thank you. He's releasing now. Sailplane to control. Drum and sailplane to tar. Hello, drum and sailplane, come in, please. He's broken off. Someone cut a record of his parachute. He's trying to open it by hand. How much longer? Oh, seconds. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Uh, you have the worst stiff neck I ever see. Yeah, you can say that again. You can do that again. Um, tell me, what did you find out about Torrenson? Torrenson? He comes to the sauna, I give him a massage, he goes home. Sometimes I don't see him for weeks. And when he's not in England, he's in North Africa. North Africa? He didn't mention a man called Barouche, did he? Barouche, Barouche. He talks about Barouche. He meets him, too, in North Africa. And, um, something about a boat. Osprey 3? Yes, that's it. A very fast boat, he said. Uh, he mentioned somebody else called Carl Peterson. Peterson? Is that any help? Birgit, I absolutely adore you. You do? <laughs> and, uh, and now... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rush off. You're sure you love me so? Well, I, uh, I can't prove it in front of the natives, can I? You're next, Major Newman.
Hello? Tell him I'll be down in a minute. Yes? Boo. I know it's you. How do you know it's me? You didn't even look. How do you like my dress? Just the thing for following me around in. Mm, I thought so. Where are we dining? We aren't dining anywhere. I've made other arrangements. Ah, shucks. You must admit it was a good idea, though. I was even on the same plane with you, and you didn't spot me. Oh, how could I? You've got a black wig and dark glasses on. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to rush off. Help yourself. Flicky? Yes? You know, everybody's got a home somewhere. Why don't you go to yours, hmm? That's a good girl. I can't. It's too far away. Flicky? I'm hungry. Well... Try the hotel restaurant. Excellent. I want to go out. Go to the Casbah. With you? There's a restaurant there where the sheep's eyes are a richly rewarding experience. Sheep's eyes? Yuck. Ah, Mr. Drummond. How do you do? You from the British Embassy? Oh, yes. I hope I won't shock you, old chap, but you'll find me a bit of a fallout, you know. This way, please. I think you mean drop out. Do I? Oh, yes, I do. Uh, my name's Carruthers, by the way, Peregrine Carruthers, but you can call me Butch. That yours? Yes. Super, isn't she? Positively psychedelic. I hope you're safe. That's what Mother keeps worrying about. Who cares, Mr. Drummond? Get with it. Live dangerously. Eh, uh, what does His Excellency think about your swinging image? I don't know. He doesn't say. Wonder why not? He's Mummy's brother. Lord Dunbury laid it on. It's a pre-race party. Pre-race? What for? Power boats. International Gold Cup tomorrow. Who's Lady Mandalay? Oh, expatriate society type. Always in the cheap press. Yachts, the Riviera, money to burn. Last time it was a harem party. Great fun. Come as your favorite eunuch. I'm glad it was last time. I feel a bit overdressed. Uh, Bruce be there? Oh, I can't say, old chap. Where do you fit in? Me? Oh, I've been assigned as your bodyguard. Good grief. Look out! When will they learn to drive on the left? Madge! Oh, it's a Madge, you can make it. Lovely, sweet. <laughs> darling, darling, get me a drink, will you? Isn't sweet? Dazzle! Ah! Who's the contact, Butch? No idea, old chap. I presume they'll reveal themselves. If you look at some of these dresses, it won't belong now. Yes, I see what you mean. Well, I'll be around if you need any protection. Mr. Drummond? Yes. Reggie! This is divine. You always make a party go, sir. Mr. Drummond? Mr. Drummond? Oh, yes, of course. Reggie! Come here at once! Cool, baby. Good evening, Mr. Drummond. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh. <laughs> Forgive the uproar out there. My party suit my purpose. People think I'm a fool. 
and they talk and talk and talk. <laughs> now, Mr. Barouche, Dunbury put an urgent on it, but I'm afraid we haven't been able to do much. Very nice. Mysterious person, Barouche. But you'll see for yourself. He's definitely coming here tonight. Who's Kruger? Built this boat. Osprey 3? Mm hmm. He's expected to win the Gold Cup tomorrow. What's his connection with Barouche? We're not sure. Except at one of my parties, Kruger boasted he could take Barouche for half a million if he wanted to. Something about Barouche buying the Osprey. Million. That's an awful lot of money for a boat. Could he be buying anything else as well? Possibly. You see, Kruger's father was a scientist doing advanced work on infrasound. He died last year. Police think it was murder. There was no proof. Infrasound? What's that? Subsonic vibrations. You can't hear it, but it's there. It can destroy life very quickly. Kruger's father was trying to find out how to control and direct it. And what's Torrenson got to do with all this? We've drawn a blank there. Oh, except that Torrenson often flies down to meet Barouche. Yes. Thank you. Barouche has just arrived. Fetch me a drink, my own party, and I'm dying of thirst. Over there. <laughs> Darling man, I'm honored. My chic of the desert. So exciting, so mysterious. Oh, you must meet Mr. Drummond. He's just popped down from London for the race. Ah, Drummond. Your reputation precedes you. Insurance, isn't it? That's correct. We must have a lot of things in common, Mr. Drummond. Love for the subdued, for example. Lady Mandeville's parties. Good evening, Mr. Drummond. Surprise, surprise. Your aim's gone to pop, Baroness. My aim is perfect. Dead center. Just that you drilled the wrong heart. Oh, don't be so egocentric, darling. You're not the only interest I have. Oh, you mustn't say things like that. You make me jealous. That's a Grunig Mark VI. Special Swedish target pistol. Virtually guarantees you a bullseye. Only one problem. Fires just one shot at a time. But I might have reloaded. I'll take a chance on that. I won't! <laughs> You see, it was loaded after all. Do you, Mr. Drummond? Mr. Kruger. What do you want? I've told your boss already we've done our bit of business, and that's that. He didn't get everything. He didn't get the boat. That's his tough luck, huh? But he wants it. Not a chance, baby. Now scram. What's that? That's little Pandora's box. Kruger's boathouse? Yes, it's over there. Silly Mr. Kruger.
Is he dead? That's strange. A mark on him. Just like Miss Mary. Well, thank heavens he's not British. Well, he's not my responsibility, you see. I kill him, though. What's so important about a boat? Sound waves, could that be it? What do you mean? Well, young Kruger there was always talking about sound waves. Powdered glass. Of course. Infrasound. That's it. That's what he was always going on about, infrasound, yes. Well, is there some emergency lighting here? Yes. Sonic sound directed down through these holes in the hull breaks up the water friction, makes the boat slide faster. And hey, presto, you've won the race. No wonder he was bumped off. Mm. You don't need to murder a man to stop him cheating. All you've got to do is to report him to the race committee. you so sure that he will come himself? I know him. He will. Look for him. Will all competitors for the International Gold Cup proceed to the start, boy? Oh, look, there. That's easy enough to go. Yes. Put him down. I say it's terribly exciting playing decoy. I feel just like one of those stuffed ducks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sean, you go there. Drive. o'clock, one mile. Estimated time of arrival, three minutes. Received. Central. Out. Is this what you're after? Don't touch it! Don't touch it. Not really used to roughing it, Baroness. It won't be for long. And it's a comfortable place to die. Oh! Do you mind? One, Mr. Drummond. Mm. You don't want to miss the manager, though, do you? A drink, sir? Black and white and water, please. Black and white and water. No ice. No ice. Right away, sir. And you, sir? Nothing. <coughs> Nothing for me, thank you. Black and white and water. Thank you. This way, please. Hmm, not bad. A little less water next time. Oh, dear. That reminds me, His Excellency is expecting us for dinner. <gasps> My dear Carruthers, don't be alarmed. Ah, Mr. Drummond. How very nice of you to come. Thank you, ladies. You're not Baruch at all. You're Torrenson, aren't you? Oh, no, no. He, he's Baruch. I saw him shot.
times. The killing of Barouche was a necessity. There was too much curiosity. A coup de théâtre, my dear sir. Would you care for something to drink, Mr. Drummond? It's inevitable, I suppose. This desire to disguise yourself. What do you mean? The whole civilized world finds Carl Peterson totally repulsive. You seem to have reached the same conclusion. Who is this Carl Peterson? You are. I can smell you. You think you're so damn clever, don't you, Drummond? But I'll show you. I'll show you. <coughs> this, this island on the crossroads of the Mediterranean. From here, I will control the whole destiny of the world. Ridiculous, you can't even control your own temper. <laughs> She waiting any longer, must we? Don't move, Mr. Drummond. Drop it. Hello, Flicky. I wonder what had happened to you. I missed you. I shan't miss you. So very slowly. Back down there. And we're all changed for dinner. Shall we, gentlemen? Shall we? <laughs> yes. Telegram you were expecting, Carl. Thank you, my dear. How do you like the clothes we provided for you, Mr. Drummond? Excellent. They uh, might have been made for me. They were, my dear fellow. They were. History repeats itself. Napoleon dreamt of the entire universe thronging to his door. Now I shall fulfill his dreams. Dressed as the Duke of Wellington. And of course, my dear fellow. Never back a loser. What's a nice girl like you doing in a dump like this? Never, not even in England, have I ever come across a hotel where the service met with my satisfaction. So I built and staffed my own. Ah, Pandora, I'm sure you'd prefer something a trifle more exotic, wouldn't you, my dear? You know my taste. And what about you, Flicky, with your sweet tooth? I think she deserves a little reward for having looked after you so nicely, don't you think? I thought working for you was his own reward. I can't eat that stuff. Why don't you give it to Pandora? Do you think you should, darling? It's terribly bad for the complexion. I have a perfect complexion. You see, Mr. Drummond, to get perfect service, one needs total single-mindedness. Thank you, sir. See what I mean? Ordinary servant would have panicked, started to scream. Not to my girls. Hello, Central. Ready for number nine. Thank you. Go. Let this receive. Number seven, please. Remarkable girls, aren't they, Mr. Drummond? You see that in training. I wonder what for. Control, Mr. Drummond. Perfect control. These girls can do anything. Tally-ho! 
Not jerks and titty who. Yikes, yikes, tally ho! This one's slightly more stupid than some. That's why she's having extra training. Now, watch her take this. <laughs> Fantastic. Faultless landing. I think she's hurt. Central. Number seven needs reactivating. Reactivating immediately. She's better. Very interesting. Are they all like that? That one's so stupid. She's almost human. Hmm. Let's give you somebody to talk to when you want to feel superior. Huh? Please, sir. Can I have this one to practice with? Why don't she get her riding right first? Oh. Is there something wrong with him? Is he being wrongly programmed? Look here, I really must protest. This just isn't decent. What about you, Mr. Drummond? Would you care to give us a little tuition in the art of seduction? Well, have a try. That's the way. Just relax. Arms around the neck. I say, do remember you're British. There at last, Drummond. Mm. Well, there has to be some method of controlling them, doesn't there? But I must say I didn't expect to find something as simple as a switch. Hardly simple, Mr. Drummond. You've heard of artificial legs, artificial hands. Well, my girls have artificial brains, surgically implanted, of course. I termed the operation robotizing, for want of a better word. Sorry, sir. I don't know what happened. You passed out in the heat of passion. Once they've been fully trained and programmed, you won't be able to tell the difference between my girls and the common or garden variety. Except, of course, that they'll be under my control. Those two have been trained as weightlifters. They think big. Yes, but apart from giving you somebody to live with who will tolerate your nastiness, what's the point of it all? The point? Eight million pounds, Mr. Drummond. That's the point. A great deal of money. one had the treatment? Your lovely spy? No. She's supervising the installation of the booster mechanism on my little toy. Thanks to you for getting me the boat. What does your little toy do? The SST-1. That airfield's pretty well guarded now. You won't get near it again. I don't need to. Pandora, would you show Mr. Drummond how the prototype works? Mr. Drummond, would you put your glass down, please? Move a little back. Hold that. In for sound. So you've gone right off explosives now, have you? Yes. Unfortunately for Pandora, she does so enjoy a good bang. Will you offer Mr. Drummond another drink, my dears? Thank you. Black and white with water, no ice. Quite correct. We're ready, Carl. You see, Mr. Drummond, until I could get hold of that boat, I couldn't quite work out how to employ Pandora's little gadget for long-range destruction. But now, when the SST-1 takes off tomorrow, I turn on my projector, 
and the infrasonic waves will totally jam the supersonic control system of the plane. What do you want to do that for? Eight million pounds. That's my fee for when the plane's contracts are cancelled. And are we going to see this happen on your screen? Oh, yes. Yes, tomorrow morning. That's the last thing either of you will see. After that, I'm going to use it on you. Were you spying on us? No, ma'am. Mr. Drummond said you looked through the keyhole. Did you? No, ma'am. I switched her off. Good. Happy now? Yes, I don't like it watched. your last cigarette. A special treat for the condemned. Dangerous to smoke in bed, you know. <laughs> that Helga is with him. She could have you. Oh, yes. She's so selfish, that one. I told her it was my turn. It makes me so terribly cross. Why don't you try me? You are not like him. Well, you could pretend, couldn't you? <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. <coughs> but I promise you, once you know how, it's very good. Yes, I'm sure. But look, uh, are you sure you're not a robot? Oh, dear, you want your robot? Yes. Why? Uh, well, you see, I promised my mother I wouldn't, but, I mean, if you were a robot, then that would be all right, wouldn't it? But Mommy will never know. <laughs> oh, I... No! Hey, Mommy never told me about this. Thank you. 
so rough, darling. Ooh, I thought you'd never get here. Who are you double-crossing this time? I had to make contact. Peterson's watching all the time. All right. Now you've got me, what do you want? C-I-A. C-I who? Washington thought you needed looking after. How sweet of them. <laughs> you must think I'm a bigger fool than I look. If you don't believe me, why did you come here instead of trying to swim for it? Curiosity. And the fact that the nearest place to swim to, 200 miles away. I'm not that strong. Look, Peterson still trusts me. Do you want my help or not? Well, how'd you get the job in the first place? Did you just call him up and ask? Two years ago, Peterson needed a girl who spoke Russian. I do. Hmm. Suppressor's intact. Only thing, no gas. Yeah, they think of everything, don't they? Almost everything, yes. If you shoot me, I'll shoot your fragile girlfriend, and you wouldn't like that, would you? For many reasons, yes. I think I would. Give me that gun, or I'll shoot the darling little traitor. I wouldn't if I were you. Come on! Come on! Miss Helga had alerted control, then we'd have been certain of his death. All right. Hello, control. control. Have they finished searching the grounds yet? Continue. Search. Central Drummond is not in the kitchen. Over there. Sit down. No sign of Drummond. Out. They've searched everywhere, Carl. My aim is still perfect. I must have killed him. What a pity. I would have liked him to have seen the show. It's about to start at any minute. Central, number seven reporting from the kitchen area. Drummond is not here. Hello, Central. Recall all units, seal all doors immediately. We're about to commence operations. Would you get me a shot of Major Newman, please? Yes, Carl. Who's that? The man who's going to pay me when that lovely plane goes up in smoke. There you are, Major Newman. Your boys may be damn clever, but they'll never build a plane like that. Eight million pounds. It's not bad, is it? How monstrous. Rather depends on whose side you're on, dear chap, doesn't it? I mean, talking about money like that, like a tradesman.
Tommy car. Now. Do you see what's happening? Their plane is supersonic. Our little toy is subsonic. I've jammed their controls. They can do nothing. They will continue to climb, and no one will ever know what happened. Pleasure. No, don't. I was only going to tickle him. Have you gone mad? Use this in here and you'll jam the destructor, you fool. in time. They've almost gone into orbit. I said, turn it off. Try and make me. You can't use that. It'll jam the destructor. He said so. Keep that destructor going. Yes. Right. I'm going to walk up to you, take that out of your hand, and I'm going to turn off your little toy. Stop. Take another step and I'll kill you. You kill me. You're going to blow your eight million pounds, old boy. <laughs> Central. All numbers to report to the rooftop immediately. Let's go. I don't think contracts for that plane will be cancelled after all. Stop it! Central. Numbers 1 through 6 to eliminate numbers 8 through 13, immediate and urgent. And numbers 8 through 13 to eliminate numbers 1 through 6, immediate and urgent. Where's that little machine gotten to? Upstairs, too dangerous a toy for you and me. Oh, but I thought if you... And Central. Number 7 to pick up the infrasonic manual destructor and dispose of it. <laughs> The 
female of the species, Carruthers. Mr. Drummond. Hello, number seven. I thought Central told you to dispose of that horrid thing. That's just what I'm doing. Why don't you dispose of it somewhere else? Hmm? Here. Ah, thank you very much. Ah, let's see if this will open the boat hatch, shall we? Oh, look, 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 right here. Oh, good show. Ah. Ah. Uh, Aha. Now you hold that. Okay. Please, please, please be very, very, very careful. Then don't look. Okay. rather, wasn't it? Sorry, Mr. Drummond, but when you're playing Matahari, anything goes. Not the CIA. How surprising. You couldn't possibly be working for that Russian organization, could you? How did you guess? Now get away from the boat. Are you Russian? Oh, sorry, Peregrine, but we don't have infrasound. At least we didn't. But that's marvelous. Why didn't you tell me? Minya Gabarich Peruski is just about the only thing I can do. Speak Russian, I mean. Uh, uh. Mr. Drummond, will you tell His Excellency, please? I'm not defecting, just taking leave of absence to improve my Russian relations. Don't speak out! Bobby will never forgive you! Satisfy you, but they'll all mystify you. They'll thrill you, and some will do anything you desire. There's no doubt about it, it's proved to be true. There is nothing in the world that can do what some girls do. 